Boehner specifically was asked about the possibility of the Republicans bringing up something to replace Obamacare, and this is what he said. Well, when you look at Obamacare, what you see is a government-centered health care delivery system. That's not what the American people want. The American people want uh, to be able to pick their own type of health insurance. They want to be able to pick their own doctor. They want to be able to pick their own hospital. Will that be up for a vote in 2014 now, the bill for that? Speaker, will that be up for a vote in 2014? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. He laughed. He laughed! Now, now, it's not just Boehner, though. It turns out he's just one of many. Let's watch that great montage by J.R. Jackson. And, and, and there are folks... What would you do? What would you, how would you replace it? Well, I guess I'm like sitting here and, and going to go through, you know, a complex issue like that with 1626 to go. Get you don't back. think the that you have a responsibility as a U.S. senator to do better than that in terms of offering a solution for what to do next? Uh, well, I, I, I appreciate you're your trying to lecture me in the morning. There is no Republican proposal that I'm aware of that would seek to address the problems, basically 40 million uninsured Americans, that the Affordable Care Act seeks to address. Isn't that true? Well, David, I would say this. Let's start with the principle that uh, in medicine, the first rule is to do no harm. Senator Lee, where's the Republican bill that will solve the problem of rising health care costs and the millions and millions of uninsured, uh, making sure that insurance companies uh, are not able to discriminate against people with pre-existing conditions? Where's the alternative to help the American people uh, who want some sort of health care solution? You know, there are a lot of Republican proposals. And, and that's the problem. I mean, with all due respect, that's part of the problem with the culture here, is that somebody thinks that I could solve Obamacare in 14 minutes and solve the, solve the health care crisis in 14 minutes. I don't have the power to fix it. You do. That's what a U.S. senator does, is you sponsor law. You know this. It's not a lecture. It's a concern. I'm asking, what are you going to do about it? Well, and, and, and I share that concern. And, and So what do you plan to present? What is a viable alternative that really solves the problem? Well, I would say let's get to the table on a bipartisan basis, and let's make sure that we have a plan that has more choice, not less, Let's have one that where we're driving down costs and increasing competition. There used to be, it used to be repeal and replace, and now all I hear from you guys is, is repeal. Uh, yes, that's right, because we have a piece of legislation that people have recognized is going to be harmful to the American people. I agree with you. We do need to offer something else. Several of us have. The fact that we don't yet have consensus on it doesn't mean that there isn't good reason to protect Americans who are fearful. I just lost my health insurance. I've got a child with diabetes. I need my health insurance. I'm scared. Please stop this from happening. Those are real facts. And what do you say to them, Senator? When they say, uh, please help me, what is the fix that you offer them? I looked at the list of bills that you've sponsored. There's not one that offers a solution to the current problems with health care except to get rid of the existing law. Is that enough? <laughs> Well, that's the only solution that will work. And people are tired of these focus group tested, blow dried answers that people give that, that all sound the same. Oh, yeah. I love that ending. They're love sick it. of those, yeah. those manufactured answers, so I'm protesting by never providing any answers <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> On, on Mike Lee, Jake Tapper posed the question for about five minutes. No, can't. I was yeah. right. Like I'm like, get, let it go, go, get, get to <laughs> him. So because he's, he's stumped, him, right? He's giving him a chance to think of an answer. Exactly. Yeah. And Mike Lee's like thinking, it. thinking, thinking. thinking. Yes. Nope, nope, I got nothing. nothing. No, <laughs> Still no. So, nothing. No. Yeah, I have a bunch of proposals. I think. I mean, I heard about a bunch of proposals. <laughs> the correct answer would be the Republican proposal was already enacted by Democrats in Congress and the Democratic President of the United States. That's right. Because that was that's the exactly Heritage what it is. Foundation's mm -hmm. proposal, Mitt Romney proposal, which is what Obama did. And then Chris Christie, oh, I'm not going to come up with an answer in 14 minutes. No, but wait, 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 no. wait. You've been criticizing Obamacare for now how many years? Four years. You had four <laughs> years to get, come up with an answer. Not like, uh, it seemed like he was like, oh, 14 minutes? I'm like, what the, oh, shit. I never thought of that. <laughs> like, oh, to replace it. Oh, no, like, oh, I think you mistook me for someone who gives a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, 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 I don't give a care. You don't have health care? Who cares? Who cares? You're not my daughter. I don't care about you. I never even thought about you until this guy asked me the question for the first time in my life. And I'm like, 14 minutes? I don't have, I, I, I never thought about it. No, I was planning to screw you and never give you health care. <laughs> <laughs> he did, uh, Chris Christie did come up with an answer to Obamacare, but he ate it. <laughs> <laughs>